In this video, I'll be creating a web application to read all parameters values at a time in a servlet file. So for doing so, I'll be making use of enumeration here. The software I'll be using for the same as NetBeans ID 8.1 with class with server 4.1. These are the steps for creating this web application. So first of all, I'll be creating a new project. Then I'll have to edit index.html file. Then create a servlet file and finally run the project. This is the expected output of this web application. On this form, I need to enter the user details. So once I'll be clicking on register button, on the next page, it will give me the names of all the parameters and the corresponding values. So here, as we can see, for name, the value is admin. For password, the value is root. Gender is male. Date of birth is 1st Jan 2000. The user has selected two hobbies here, that is reading and singing. And finally, for city, the value is Mumbai. We'll start with the creation of web application here. And for that, we'll have to go to File, New Project, Java Web, Web Application. Click on Next. The name of my project is User Details Application. Click on next. This is the default server. Click on next. We're not selecting any framework here, so click on finish. So, this is user details app in which we can find index.html. Now, on index.html file, I'm creating a form for allowing the user to enter different details. Let us try to understand what all details can be entered by the user. So this is the first heading, that is user details. Here the next tag is form tag with two important attributes, that is method is equal to post and action. So for a method, I have given the value is equal to post as I'll be dealing with sensitive information like name, password. The value of action attribute will be the name of the servlet that will be created. So here I'm telling my user to enter the name. For that I have taken input type is equal to text. This is a name I have given to this text field. In a similar way I'm telling the user to enter the password. For that I have taken input type is equal to password. The name given to this field is password. For allowing the user to select the gender I have declared input type is equal to radio. And two values I have taken here. The first value is male, second is female. In the next field, I'm telling the user to enter the date of birth. For that, I have taken input type is equal to text. The name given to this field is CUB. Three check boxes I have uh, taken for hobbies. So the first value is reading, second one is singing, and third is dancing. So as we know that the difference between radio button and check box is that in case of radio button, the user can select any one value. In case of check boxes, the user can select any number of values. Here I am taking a list uh, for allowing the user to select the city. So three different values I have considered. The first is uh, Mumbai, second one is Pune, third one is Bangalore. And finally two buttons I have taken, that is input type is equal to submit and the next button is input type is equal to reset. So this is a code for index.html file. If we'll execute this file, we'll be getting this output. Now we'll create the servlet file. For that, I'll have to go to source packages. Right click, new, servlet. The name of my servlet is detail serve. The package name is servlet. Click on next. Check this checkbox so that the information will get added to deployment descriptor and click on finish. So this is the servlet file. 
on the servlet file along with the basic packages we are importing one more package that is import java.util.star now let us try to understand the reason behind using this package for accepting the values entered by the user we have got two ways in the first way we can declare different different variables to store the values entered by the user and in the second way we can make use of enumeration so by making use of an object of enumeration we can enumerate that is we can traverse through the entire list of parameters whose values will be entered by the user now for making use of this enumeration util is required let us try to understand the code given in do post method so here first of all i am creating an object of print writer class that is out by using this object i can allow the printing task here i am declaring an object that is p names of enumeration and inside this object i am storing all the parameter names so as we can see here on index.html file we have got different parameters like my first parameter is for name second parameter is password third parameter is gender fourth is date of birth next is hobbies then we have city so for storing these names in p names we are making use of get parameter names method in while loop we are using has more elements method of this p names so basically if p names has more elements it will return value true or else it will return false so let us just try to understand the iterations as we know that in p names we have got the names of all the parameters so in the very first iteration by making use of next element method it will return my first parameter that is name so the return type of next element method is object so basically to convert that object into type string we are allowing type casting and then we are storing that name inside this string so once we'll fetch this uh, name here on the next line i'm printing it over here i'm trying to access the value of the same parameter so as we know that the parameter name what i have fetched here is name so whatever value will be entered by the user for name will be fetching that value and will be storing it inside string array p value the reason behind using string array is for hobbies the user may select many check boxes so for storing those multiple values we need to make use of string array now for name user will be entering only one value so that one value will get stored inside this variable p value so for the first parameter that is for name the if block will get executed because the length will be 1 in that case the value will get stored at index number 0 the same value we are fetching and we are storing inside string variable p now if my user is not entering anything in that text field we can say no value or else we can print the same value now like name for my next field that is for password the execution will remain the same in a similar way we have got gender where again my user will be entering only one value the execution will remain same and even for date of birth as the value will be one the execution will remain the same now let's say for hobbies the user is selecting first and second option in this case we'll try to understand the iteration so as the user has selected many values the length of p value will not be equal to 1 in that case the else block will get executed so in this case as we know that the length is equal to 2 first of all we'll be starting with counter whose value is equal to 0 and as for that 
it will be giving us the first option selected by the user which will be stored at index number 0. So here the first option is reading. So if I'll execute the code, I'll be getting hobby that is reading. Again, the counter will get incremented and for the next value, it will give me the second option. And as we can see here, the second option is singing. So again, it will be giving me singing. So for hobbies, I can get two values here. That is reading and singing. So this is my servlet file, which is ready. We need to make sure that we are copying the servlet name. And we are pasting it for the value of action attribute. So my index.html file is ready. And even details so that is my servlet file is ready. I can right click and clean and build the project. It's giving build successful. So again I can right click and run this project. This is the output window. So let's start entering these values. Let's say the name of the user is admin. Password is root, gender male, date of birth 1st Jan 2000. Let's say the hobbies are reading and singing. And city is Mumbai. Now I'm clicking on register. So here we can find all the values entered by the user. These are my parameter names and these are the corresponding values. So here as we can see, for name it is giving me admin, for password root, gender mail, date of birth 1st Jan 2000 and for hobbies we can find two values here. The city it is giving me Mumbai. In this way we can accept multiple parameter values in servlet file by making use of enumeration. Thank you.